Time now for the CDW Rivalry Series, and our spotlight focuses on a game in South Bend. Boston College undefeated, ranked in top five in the country against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. I'm here with Trev Alberts and Brian Jones, and this is a game it has been a rivalry for a very long time. But this year's game, much more significance for both squads, well, because they're going in opposite directions, or so we think. Notre Dame won, BJ. <laughs> Are they it? on the way <laughs> up right now? Hell no. They're on the way up for about a week, but they're taking on Boston College. I am extremely surprised at Boston College. I didn't think they would ever be able to adjust to this new office. Jeff Jagosinski has brought in there a, a more wide open spread office, but Matt Ryan has been phenomenal, averaging over 300 yards passing per game. Uh, you know, you like the running backs, Callender and Whitworth. I thought they would be solid in the offensive line, but I just didn't think that they would had the speed that you re really need when you want to run that spread offense, but they've succeeded thus far. But let's be honest. We didn't expect Notre Dame to go into UCLA and beat the no, Bruins. I didn't. So what's to say well, I said they, they don't are pick back up their week. first home victory against BC? I got a number of friends who are Notre Dame fans, and it's kind of funny. They point out to me, hey, man, you know, finally our defense is – they got seven turnovers in that game against UCLA, and I think before Notre Dame fans get all excited and think that they're going to beat Boston College, you have to understand something. They still had 130 yards. Yards of total offense. Oh, 140. Come on, give them 10. 140. 140 yards of total Charlie, offense. Charlie, get mad. It was more. <laughs> Call me up this week. Yeah. It was more about UCLA's ineptitude yes. on offense. I mean, seven turnovers. They're on like the third quarterback. Yeah. So I think before we get too excited, I, give Notre Dame credit. They showed at least a little sense of urgency on defense. They actually got after somebody for the first time. But I just think you're right. I think Boston College has way too much going for them right now. Obviously, they're competing not only for the ACC, but big picture, top five teams. Yes. So BC wins by 10, 14. 21, what's your prediction? Well, I think they win as long as it's not a turnover game. If Boston College doesn't turn the ball over, I think they're better, you know, 21, 28 points better than Notre Dame. I mean, Notre Dame is making very small progress. I mean, they are getting a little bit better every week. Defensively, I think, is where they've made the most progress. But offensively, they still cannot move the ball. The offensive line is soft. They can't run the ball consistent basis. And they have a young quarterback who's yeah. still trying to figure out how to play quarterback. It's going to be a long game. And you look at the defense. Last year, all the problems were in the defensive secondary. This year, they're pretty good. I think ranked like number four in the, in the nation as far as what the yardage they're giving up. But rush defense is horrible. So you're so going BC. I'm going. What? Ask okay. me again. <laughs> I'm not. For, for <laughs> BJ and Trev, I'm Greg. Thank you so much for watching the CDW Rivalry Series on CSTV.com.